Funko gets frightening. Here's your look at the Funko It action figures of Pennywise, Bill, and Georgie. Funko takes characters from the 2017 smash hit It and scales them down in size. Each of the figures come with their own corresponding accessory. Okay, so the very first thing we'll do is figure out how tall these figures stand. They're gonna be pretty small. They're gonna be pretty star small, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would never lie to you. The Ultra Metatron 5000 tells us that Pennywise, just on its own, is a very small 4.3 inches in height, which works in centimeters out to be 11 centimeters tall. Now we'll go ahead and measure off. There we go, just set that back over. We'll measure off little tiny Georgie. And you remember how tall Pennywise was? Georgie is even smaller still at 2.9 inches in height centimeters. Go ahead and do that. 7.4 centimeters tall is Georgie. And then last, but certainly not least, switching this over and measuring off Bill, we're going to take the tape measure and put it up to the very top of his head. I knew one of them, I knew one of them was going to fall over. Wasn't expecting it to be Pennywise. Nonetheless, we'll finish off the rest of our measurements, pick up Pennywise, and we'll resume the rest of this review. So Bill stands at 3.7 inches tall, which in centimeters works out to be 9.5, about 10 centimeters in height. You know, I was about to say as well, the benefit of these figures, despite their size, is that the fact that they stand well. That kind of gets thrown out the window. Anyways, each of the characters have their corresponding accessory. I guess what we'll do first, why don't we first have a look at Georgie. I mean, after all, he started the film in a very terrifying manner. We'll look at him first. Now, all of these are kind of super stylized, super cute, smaller versions of the characters. It's nice, actually, that Funko kind of went this route. Uh, something that they could cer certainly consider doing, which I, was a thought that I would throw out near the end of this review, but I'll throw it out now. Uh, these would be ideal figures for vehicles. I don't really know what vehicles you could necessarily put with them. I mean, certainly like the Bill and the, like the rest of the gang could be with bikes. You know, you could give them bikes or something like that. Anyways, we're getting ahead of ourselves. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves. First thing we're going to look at is Georgie. As you can see, he's wearing his little raincoat poncho. Um, it is all plastic, although the plastic here is soft, softer plastic almost to the sense that I feel as if I could pull this back. I haven't even entertained the idea of doing this. Pulling back the head. I feel like this isn't gonna end well. There we go. It is actually, oh, it's a finished head. I didn't. I had no idea. I literally just thought, oh, okay, you know what? I wonder if I should take that right off. Speaking of taking that right off, I don't think you could take off. I mean, there isn't an, un well, there's an unfinished torso underneath, but the biggest problem, of course, as well, is that the arms wouldn't be you know, they would still have the raincoat on them. Uh, the face sculpt is good. I mean, for a smaller figure, you're not going to be getting high levels of detailing here where it looks exactly like the character from the movie. But, you know, for like a little small version of Georgie, it's not bad. He's got a little rain boots, his little galoshes on. Would you call them galoshes or little rain boots? I usually just called them rain boots, but I always feel like posher people called them galoshes. So I'm going to call them galoshes. He's got pickles on the undersides of his feet. Doesn't come with a display stand. Display stand. Joking now, I could say that display stands could have been afforded for this set of figures because obviously Pennywise toppled over. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, his little accessory, and surprised that they were even able to put printing this small, he does come with the SS Georgie. And the SS Georgie could, in theory, be put in either one of his hands. Um, you sort of just wedge it, wedge it in between his fingers and his thumb, and he does hold it in place. Doesn't seem like it's going to be going anywhere. I'm not going to commit to that. I don't want to sign off saying that it's not going to go anywhere, and it just falls right off. I made that mistake by saying that I was going to say that all the figures stand well. Pennywise proved otherwise. But uh, he comes with the little, little paper boats. That's nice. I like that. Posability on this guy. Would it be his head, but it's a little harder to kind of get in there because he's got the hood on. Uh, his arms, of all things, 
normally I guess this is the case if there is posability usually legs get suffered but the uh, the arms still have posability outward you can rotate the arms all the way around he has a bend bend in the elbow uh, you can't rotate the hands but you can rotate the legs back and forth and you can bend at the knees there's a little tiny Georgie not bad not a bad little figure I mean, again, you're not really expecting these figures to look exactly like they did in the movie. Ironically enough, though, as I say that, I want to pick up Bill here. Bill's actually pretty good for our likeness, for his size. Unfortunately, his paint is probably something I'll mention first and foremost, because it might be something I'll forget to mention later. The uh, coloring on his neck, for some reason, is a different color than the rest of his face. I don't really know I guess that's just the way it was painted, but his face clearly is a different, I mean, even like the shape of the neck, the head looks bigger than his, than his neck. It doesn't look like it's part of the same figure. But the face sculpt actually, to his credit, looks good. I mean, and for as small as this is, they even put like the little reflection on his eyeballs. That's pretty cool. I like that. He does come with a backpack. The backpack doesn't really attach to anything. If you wanted to, I suppose you could pull this off, but I can only imagine how more difficult it would be to get that back onto us. And yet I still push forward, still push forward. You can take the backpack off. Backpack has no paint on it whatsoever. Frequent reviews, I've used the term knapsack, which scratched a few heads of the viewers. Knapsack, what is that? That's what we used to call it back in the day. Actually, Google it. Google can be fun. It can be your best friend. Uh, Google it. Knapsack exists. It's some, It's a pack that gets strapped over the shoulders of the carrier. That's not the actual definition. Not verbatim, at least. But that knapsack, backpack, doesn't matter. No paint on the backpack. Um, but it does come off his of his back. I mean, I guess, I guess it wouldn't be that difficult to get back onto him. Oh, look at that. Look at these split, just like that. Uh, he is wearing his baseball tee, which I think is the term used when you've got a t-shirt where the collar and the sleeves are the same color, and then there's one main color, generally white, for the main part of the t-shirt. I think this is what they call a baseball tee. According to Old Navy, that's what they call it, a baseball tee. Uh, he does have his little watch, and he's sporting a pair of jeans, as well as a pair of sneakers, with, once again, pickles on the undersides of his feet, along with a product code, NV180618. That's not relevant, but I just felt the need to mention that. His accessory, he comes included with the flashlight. Now, I guess, really, you could give Georgie the flashlight as well, although the flashlight is pretty broad, so fitting it into his hand will pretty much be impossible. You can't do it. It does fit, however, into Bill's hand relatively well, comfortably well. And even though you really can't angle it in such a way it would look like he's pointing, unless everything he's looking at is in the treetops, the flashlight, unfortunately, won't face forward. Uh, Bill's posability for this better, better figure, I think, than Georgie. Uh, he does have a head that rotates all the way around. It basically sits on a ball joint. There's the ball joint right there. And the head rotates all the way around. Neck is, I will admit, a little long on this guy. A little long on the neck, but nonetheless. His arms move out, like that. And uh, you can rotate them all the way around. Bend at the elbow. And uh, nothing, once again, the hands. No waist articulation. Legs go forward and back. They have a sort of a stopping point. In the same way that most retro figures, that I kind of feel like this is a kind of throwback, if you will, Almost in the way that 2017's It was a throwback. So too are also these figures. The legs only stop here. They can't go any bit further. Because known to what I would refer to as the box butt. Or the box behind. This is sort of the limited part of any retro figure. The legs don't ever seem to be able to go back that point. The box butt, ladies and gentlemen. It does have a hinge in the knee and uh, no posability in the feet. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is Bill. Now of the variety of creepy clowns comes to us uh, Pennywise. And he's actually, in the when we will look at all the sets, actually, I have all the sets except for one. Um, all the sets do come with their own corresponding uh, Pennywise the Clown. He varies from each set. They're not all the exact same carbon copy Pennywise. 
this Pennywise is just a smiling version of Pennywise, still in his kind of old vintage clown outfit, which is really something that's grown on me. I really do like the design of it. It's sort of a kind of creamier, uh, kind of beige color, offsetting to the bright, very bright face. Kind of a, like I said, a stylized version of Pennywise. But again, it looks it looks like him. It's just much friendlier, a much more approachable Pennywise. His accessory, he comes included with, of course, a balloon. Now, the balloon clamps around his fingers. This can actually be better done on, I find, this hand than on this hand here. You're just going to take this loop, and this loop sort of just fits around the four fingers, just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go. And it just fits around his hand like that. So if he wants to offer you up a balloon, I would advise not taking the balloon from the creepy clown myself. But I mean, if that's something that you want to do, have at you. The balloon is good. It sort of looks sectional, though. Like, I don't know what's happening here, why this couldn't have simply been all one sculpt. I guess the bottom half is really what connects to the rope. But it does look like it kind of makes the balloon look like it's made of three parts. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time nitpicking an accessory balloon. In the meantime, let's have a look once again at Pennywise. He's kind of has a big head, a short body. Proportionately, it seems like his head's too big for his body. But again, like this is kind of based on a retro lineup of figures, something of which I had in my collection for a while. I bought these, um, I want to say like several, possibly even like a month or so ago. And I just only now got around to reviewing these. This is unfortunately what happens when you've got responsibilities, jobs, multiple jobs, and uh, of course babies and stuff like that. So having a look at Pennywise's articulation, his head ro would normally rotate all the way around, but it does involve you then having to uh, bend his head in a way that probably would be very uncomfortable for him. The arms rotate all the way around. They hinge outward as well, bend at the arms, or elbows, I should say. No, once again, posability in the hands, no waist articulation. Just in case you are wondering, this part of his clown outfit is a softer plastic. Uh, the legs go forward and back. Sadly, they don't go out. None of these figures have the legs go out. Bend at the knee, and uh, no foot articulation right where his pom-poms reside. And there you have a decent looking set. This is Obviously, one of those instances, I know not everybody's going to jump on board these. Some people kind of lean towards, you're either a collector that collects, say, for example, will grab this from the review, throw this up into the air as the topic of, of conversation. If you liked, say, the 2017 It, you may be inclined to pick up everything that was released under the banner It. Or you're somebody that collects action figures as a whole, and maybe you would fall into specific categories as I sprinkle my fingers across the screen. Seven inch varieties, three and three quarter inch varieties, for example. So this is a niche market, these smaller figures, that is. Not everybody is going to be jumping on board these, but I think the ones that do like it, for example, the 2017 release of it, will probably dig these smaller renditions from the folks over at Funko. This line very much reminds me of the reaction line of figures. Although in the credit of these ones, reaction figures as far as I know only had five points of articulation. A head, swivel in the arms, swivel in the legs, and that's all you really got. These ones at least get the upgraded articulation points. The shoulders can move out, you got bends in the elbows, bends in the knees. And while they are super stylized, kind of in the same way that reaction figures were, I think these ones are nicely sculpted, a little bit better sculpted than the ones we got with the reaction figures. I'm only using those as the comparison because really, like, these are the same sort of scale size. And while this may not cater every collector out there, those who want more realistic designs or a little bit taller figures to put in their collection will likely pass on these altogether. I think this kind of is a good lineup of figures for somebody who liked, for example, the 2017 It's, and just want to get collectibles from that. This is a nice small size, really lends well to the idea of vehicles, but I don't really think Funko would ever branch the idea off even further by incorporating vehicles, but at the very least, you could probably give the gang, for example, a set of bikes, a bunch of bikes that they could ride around on. That probably will not likely happen, but will what will likely happen on this channel, at the very least, is we're going to look at the other sets that Funko had released. They released four. 
I was able to pick up three of the four, and of course we've already looked at one set right now. The other two sets that I picked up, we're gonna have a look at it in some future videos. In the meantime though, if you guys are interested in picking the, these ones up for yourself, uh, price point, which of course will fluctuate depending on where you're coming from, here in Canada, I think this set was about $14.99. Some would say relatively high. That's an awfully steep price for small scale figures like this. But if you really think of what one figure is of a three and three quarter inch variety, those figures are usually on average about eight to $10. Here you're getting three figures of moderate appeal. Some of the sculpts are a little bit better than others. While Georgie is a little rougher, I think the sculpt on Bill is actually pretty good. And of course, Pennywise, doesn't look uh, as scary as his larger counterpart, but in a smaller scale, Pennywise works quite well too, and they all come with accessories to boot. Uh, galoshes. Galoshes, right, right, galoshes. Uh, today, though, we were having a look uh, at the Funko It, Pennywise, Bill, and Georgie. The set wasn't super new. Like I said, I've had it in my collection for about a month or so. It sat on a shelf as the, you know, visual, I still gotta do this stuff and it just didn't get around to doing that stuff, so we're having a look at it right now. If you guys wanna check out some more of the uh, Funko variety of reviews on this channel, there's a playlist just for Funko. Also, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly more videos will be coming your way soon to this channel. Stay tuned for those, my friends. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.